Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. The Lord laid a word on my heart for someone today. And I'm so excited to share it with you. And I know that it will be a blessing. Before we go into the word, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for yet another day. Thank you, Lord, for your love for us. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the word that you've sent to us. Thank you for loving us so much, for sending your word to us in the right season of our lives, Lord. Thank you in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for everyone who is watching this video right now. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for everything that concerns them. Thank you for their family. Thank you for their career, for their businesses, for their ministry. Thank you for their health. Thank you for what you've done in their lives. Thank you for what you're doing right now. Thank you for what you will yet do in their lives. In Jesus' name. Father, have mercy on us. Every way we've sinned against you. Lord, we confess our sins. Please forgive us in Jesus' name. Lord, would you please prepare our heart to receive the seed of your word today. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this word will, will fall on the good ground of our hearts in the name of Jesus. I pray that this word, oh God, will germinate. It will bring forth good fruit. It will bring forth the fruit of fulfillment and testimonies in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself to you today. Would you please use me again? Would you please speak through me? Please use me as your mouthpiece to deliver your word accurately. In the name of Jesus, I pray that I would not speak of my own, but you will be the center, the focus of this message. In the name of Jesus, and may your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The Lord laid this word on my heart for someone today. I see someone being elevated to a high position for the purpose of saving the lives of many other people. I'm going to say that again. The Lord revealed to me that he is about to elevate someone. And the main purpose of this elevation would be to save the lives of many other people. I'm going to give... A lot of information about this world and this would help you to know if this is for you or not as i sense that this is not for many people for the person this world has for the lord says that you would get to that position through his help you will not get it by your power it will not be by your might it will not be by your strength or through the connection the people you know or by your experience or qualification but the Lord says you will get here through his help the Lord is going to open this door for you he's going to make it way. he's going to make it possible for you to get to this position also for the person this word is for I see you've been through a lot <laughs> I see the devil has tried to stop you to stop your purpose and destiny by throwing different things at you I see that the enemy of your soul has tried to stop your progress. They've seen, they've seen the woman or the man that God created you to be, and they've been trying to sabotage that. I also see that you've done or you've been involved in things that a believer or a Christian shouldn't do or should not be involved in but you've been trying to come out of that you've been trying to make your way right with god you've been making every effort to align yourself with god's will and purposes for your life in fact you've been through hell and back but you've been making every effort to make your way right with god 
I hear the Lord saying to you that what the enemy is meant for evil, that he is turning it to good. I hear the Lord saying to you that the stones that the enemies have been throwing at you to cause you to stumble, to cause you to lose your track, to cause you to lose focus and miss your destiny. The Lord says he's turning them to stepping stones for you. The Lord gave me two scriptures for this word, and I'm going to be reading them. The first scripture is Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, the story of Joseph, where he says, You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. The enemies have been trying to harm you. In fact, some damages have already been done. But the Lord says he's changing all of that. He's turning them to good for you. The second scripture is Isaiah 42 verse 7. It says, to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, and to release from dungeon those who sit in darkness. The Lord says he's about to turn things around for you. Your story, especially the ones that you've been hiding. I feel like you have some things that you've been hiding. You have some stories, some experience that you're not proud of, that you don't even want people to know. The Lord says he's about to use your story to set so many people free to save the lives of so many other people, to open the eyes that are blind, to free captives. So many people are under the captivity of the enemies, but the Lord is about to use you to set them free. The Lord is going to use your story, that same story you've been hiding from the public, the Lord is about to use it to set so many people free, to deliver those who are in captivity and to release those who sit in darkness. So many people are sitting in darkness. They don't know the way out. But the Lord is going to use you as a lighthouse for them, to lead them out of that darkness. I feel like the Lord is going to put you on a platform to share your story with so many other people. And your story would bring transformation, would bring a lot of changes and liberation to the lives of so many other people. I also hear the Lord saying to you that don't think you do not have what it takes, for the Lord has already equipped you. He has given you what you need for this position that he is about to, to elevate you to. He has equipped you. The Bible says that God does not call the qualified. He does not call the qualified. Instead, he qualifies the called. So he's calling you to this position and he doesn't want you to think about what you need. Don't say you don't have the qualifications, you don't have the skills, you don't know what to do. For the Lord will teach you what to do. The Lord is going to open doors for you and bring you out. I also feel like you've been hiding. I feel like you've been hiding. <laughs> but the Lord is bringing you out into the public. I hear that word public right now. The Lord is bringing you out into the public to share your story. And the Lord says your story you will liberate so many other people in the name of Jesus. If this word resonates with you, I want you to re receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it by faith. I also want to encourage you to seek the Lord. For there may be other things he wants you to do. Seek the Lord with this word. And release yourself to him. Release yourself to him. Tell him to use you, whichever way he wants to. Release yourself to him and you would see what will come out of you. The enemy is meant it for evil, but the Lord is going to use it to deliver so many people. 
The Lord is working everything together for your good. That thing the enemy planned to use to destroy your destiny, the Lord is using it to save the lives of so many other people. The Lord is going to use you as an instrument. So release yourself to him. Accept his call upon your life. Do not say no. Step out in faith and do what God is calling you to. Praise God. I pray this word blesses you. I pray it encourages you. I pray it's a confirmation to what God has already told you or what he's been showing you in Jesus' name. May the Lord strengthen you. In this new assignment, may you succeed. May you prosper. May your destiny be fulfilled. May the purpose of God for your life be established in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lord, thank you for this word. Thank you so much. We receive your word. We believe your word. And we trust that it will come to pass in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.